Fab. God, the things I would do for your cheekbones. Oh, Quinnette, you always look perfect. It takes a lot of maintenance to keep this up, but I thank you dearly. Let's get you bucking out anyway. I know, I know. He's bringing that girl of his, isn't he? Alyssa. She seems great. I'm happy for him. Right. I too would be happy if the love of my life was dating some pre med blonde who volunteers. He's not. He's my best friend. I just want to be happy. Well, for one, I'm your best friend, and if you could see the way that boy looks at you, you would know he's happiest with you. I must do Peter. He promised to come right in to help set up. Well, he better have brought wine. He's crazy. So bad up there. Hi, Molly. How are you holding up? You know, typical holiday melancholy. I need a Peloton or a shrink or something. That's a spirit. Speaking of spirits. My savior! Just wanted to do my part in getting it off the shelves. And into proper hands, of course. I just feel weirdly anxious about tonight. I don't know. It'll be good, I promise. Thanks, you guys. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So how you been? I've been good, you know, with the weather and all. Right, the weather. How's school? Finals went well? Mostly, yeah. I bombed my chem exam though. Bombed it? What'd you get, like an 85? Um, well, yeah, I got an 87. But I'm gonna try and negotiate some extra credit. You don't give up on anything, do you? No, not really. I really don't. So tell me about you. Did you ever hear back from that internship? Yeah, um, I got it. I've been working with the firm for about three months now. Time goes by quick, huh? Yeah, well, you kind of stopped answering my calls. Yeah, look, I'm really sorry about that. I've just been swapping school and lame, you know. She's been in and out of impatient. You and Alyssa still going strong? Nah, she, um, she actually dumped me for her supervisor. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. You two were really good together. Were we? I mean, it looks like it. Yeah, she just... On the surface, she had everything, you know, but I I guess I just got caught up in her whole image. And I didn't really like being toted around as Alyssa's boyfriend, you know? I mean, you were. Yeah, but to her and her friends, that's all I was. I wasn't even my own person. I think that happens sometimes in relationships. You kind of fall for the idea of being two people together. With David, I wanted to do everything that he did. I even started reading Foucault. God, not Foucault. You hate Foucault. He's too hard -lined. Yeah, well, I wanted to see things the way David did. I thought that made me fit into his life, but it didn't work, obviously. I hate the idea of you making yourself smaller for him. I make myself smaller for everyone, even you sometimes. Really? When he didn't reach out for a while, I felt really bad about it. I thought he'd done something, maybe. No, no, not at all. I mean, what was I supposed to think? He stopped talking to me. Honestly, I changed a lot when I was with Alyssa. I felt bad talking to you about her. Why? You were my best friend. I wanted to hear about your life. I was? Yeah, of course you were. I didn't even know that. I thought you knew. We talked about living together. I don't remember that. On the phone, when you were in Amsterdam. I was going through a lot then. I remember. We talked about getting an apartment in Glasgow, and you're right by the window, and I get my law degree at the university. I know my memory's shot, but I feel like I remember every conversation you've ever had. You think you'll remember this one too? Probably. What's the most memorable thing you can remember from our conversations? There must have been hundreds. When you told me that you wanted me in your life forever. 
And that you'd always be honest with me. And I meant that. What? What are these accusations? What if I have not been honest with you? I wouldn't say you've ever lied to me, but you avoid telling me the truth for as long as possible. And then I have to confront you about it, and it's always at the worst times. Are you talking about the night I invited Alyssa to the bar with us? You told me you wanted to catch up. I hadn't seen you in two months because you were in Boston. I did want to catch up. I thought we had a good time. We were. Until you invited Alyssa without telling me, and I got stuck with all your friends who don't even like me, by the way, so you could go hang out with her. I think you have a hard time with me having other women in my life. Well, I don't. I want you to be happy. I'm not sure what you want sometimes. I'm not like you, okay? You always put yourself out there and you always get everything that you want. Not always. Not everything. Your dream school, a job you love, an apartment by the river. Not everything. And I don't